Alright guys, me here and welcome back to this channel. So today we are going to be considering Mila indices of direction. So first of all, from my previous video, the way I have always teach or taught, its origin is always at this point behind. So therefore, when we travel forward, we have a positive x. When we travel rightwards, we have a positive y, right? And when we travel upwards, we have a positive z. But reverse is the case whereby if from the origin we travel this direction, we have a negative x, right? It's still the same thing. And if we travel downwards here, we have a negative z. If we go this way, we have a negative y. That is the same thing that applies here. But what just happened is our origin was moved to the front here. Which means if I come forward, remember forward is always a positive x. If I go rightwards, it's a positive y. And if I go upwards, it's a positive z. If I go backwards from my origin, backwards from my origin, it's my negative x. Can you see that nothing changed? All that just happened is our origin moved from this back to this front. And one thing we need to know is if this, um, all of these points here, right, all these nodes, they are our arrowhead, right? And our arrow bot is, that's the bottom of our arrow, all comes from the origin. So you know that when you're applying head minus tail, right? You take reading for your head and every of this question we have our tail to be zero, zero, zero. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. This is the origin. So as you can see, this C tail, C starts from this origin. This guy 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 starts from this origin, and this guy starts from this origin. So we are going to have C M um, six, no, um, six lines to read. We have our A, B, C. Then let's call this D, E, and F. Right. Once again, I'm going to take a recap. All that happened, all that changes. Our origin came to the front, and it was no more at the back that we are familiar with. Right. It's normal at the back that we're familiar, but nothing changes. Remember, when you come forward, it is a positive x. When you go rightwards, it's a positive y, right? Can you see? If you go rightwards here, also it's the same positive y. If you go upwards here, also it's the positive z, just like it is here, right? So let's just take the reading of the first one here before I switch my page. right so if this is our point of origin and we're trying to get to a which is this node we're trying to get to this node or this arrowhead so on um remember i said you should always travel x y and z then we're going to do our head minus our tail right sorry this is tail play dots yeah so from our origin when we travel on x you can see it's useless to also revert our step right so we try our y and since our y led us to our junction or our point of um or led us to our destination we're going to count it as one so since our x was less is zero our y is one then we don't need to go up because we've arrived at our destination which is zero so for our first one remember it is zero one zero then our tail for all of them is zero zero because the tail is all stuck at the point of origin this is our point of origin so the tail is all at the point of origin if the tail was somewhere here um let me give an example of a question we're giving a question like this right this is our arrowhead and this is our tail now for this we're going to take reading for our tail and we're going to take reading for our head and see our head minus tail but the reason why we're not taking reading for our tail in this question is because all of our tails are from the origin which is here so you can see tail is originated here tail is originated here tail is originated here and originated there so in continuation of our calculation we know that it is subtraction so we have zero one zero so this is our reading for our a which is zero one zero all right guys so welcome back now we're going to restart from our a again this is our point of origin like i said we are trying to get to our a which is our destination so from here we say we go from x y and z sorry this is our a then we will do our head sorry head minus tail take our readings then get our answer 
so from here remember i said if you come forward it is positive if you go backwards it is negative x positive x so going on the x direction positive x is useless it's not leading us to our destination going on negative s is leading us away from our direction so we take our x to be zero then from our origin we just go on our positive x which led us to our destination so we are going to record that as one and we don't need to go on z because it's just going to take us away from our destination so zero i remember i said all of the tails are zero 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 when we take our reading it's zero one zero in which you can see here and that is the correct answer so i'm going to restart now and next we are going to go to b so for our b we always travel x y and z so we have our head and our tail right so for our b this is our origin and this is our destination so if we should go positive x it takes us away from our destination so we know it's not positive so let's try negative x so if we go backwards negative x it leads us to our destination so it's going to be minus one we don't need our y we don't need our z because if we take our y and our z it's just going to take us away from our direction right so our tail is zero 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 and our answer is going to be by one zero and zero yeah so as you can see our answer here is correct so i'm going to go ahead again now to calculate our c which is this guy here origin and destination so we take a reading for c we take c is equal to x y and z so we take our h which is a and our t right then we subtract so origin okay let's not jump for our head this is our origin right this is our origin so if we go on x positive x is useless it's taking us away from our destination if we go negative x is useless it's taking taking us away from our our direction so we're just going to record our x to be zero so for our y if we go positive y is useless it's taking us away from our destination if we go this negative is useless it's taking us to our direction it's taking us away from our destination so zero but if we go from our origin upwards on the positive z it is taking us towards our destination so we are going to just record that as one then our tail are zero 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 so when we subtract we're going to have one zero zero so as you can see here our answer is correct let me erase that now we are going for our d right let me take the d up here so we have x y and z then we have our head and we have our tail subtracted from each other so our answer will be in this box so our d which we denote as our d i think we should denote this guy as our d right so for our d this is our point of origin remember i said if you go on the positive x it takes us away from our destination which is our destination is here so since it's taking us away we know it's negative let's try on negative so this direction takes us there but there's something wrong we cannot go full distance because if we go full distance we come here and we go up can you see where it's leading us it's leading us to this point so that is why we are not going to take it full distance rather we revert our step then go half right on our x so we know that is a negative half and on our y direction if we go y direction it is actually useless it's taking us away so we're gonna just revert our step and take our y to be zero because if we go positive and negative y it's taking us away so rather we just go on our z which leads us to the destination and our z is one so remember all of our tails are zero 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 so one minus zero is one zero minus zero is zero then minus half minus zero is going to give us minus half back so we are going to multiply all through by two right in which will lead us to we have bar one zero and two right so this is the answer am i correct yes i am correct so let's erase all of this now and let's do our e i think we should call this our e so for our e we take our x y z and we have our head and tail so we close our calculation so from our point of origin if you go on positive x is useless it doesn't take us our destination here so but if you go backwards 
it is useful because it's kind of leading us and it's making sense so we know our x is negative one cool so on our y axis we go on the positive first the positive is still taking us towards the direction so we take our positive to be y imagine we had gone on the negative direction is useless is deviating so we revert our step and rather follow our positive y then for our head we go one sorry we go one on our head which leads us to exact point of our destination so we take it as one and we record zero for our tails and one minus zero is one one minus zero is one by one minus zero is by one so this is our answer as you can see we have by one 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 so i'm gonna just erase everything i've done here and take the reading for our last one so guys don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to share this video thank you so for our f we have our x y and z so we have our head and our tail subtraction sign and closing um all of it for our summation right then let's begin to calculate this is our f so from our point of origin this is our destination so on our x if you go positive is useless let's try negative if you go negative it's kind of useful it's taking us towards the direction is making sense so we know our x is negative one it's a full distance so if we go on our y it leads us to our destination and we know we don't need our z then since we already um, we already arrived at our destination so our z is zero right so we take zero 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 for our tail so we have zero one by one in which right here you can see that that is the answer so guys don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much guys and peace out